Hey everybody, I'm Dr. Plasma and I like secrets. Today I'm going to show you one of the places I like to hide my stuff. You'll be able to make good use of this one if you like living around villages. Welcome to the Fountain Vault. Let's get started. First, let's look at a Fountain Vault and dissect it. So you're not going to need too much to build it. It's actually pretty straightforward. You're just going to have pistons all around in a circle in order to open it up. And you can have all these pistons push and pull at the same time. You're only going to need one per, so you're only, only going to need one on each of the corners. Here's a working example. Normally, you'd have a fountain that's closed off like this. If you know where to put the lever and you flick it, what it will do it will send a signal. We have it set to two ticks on all of them so we can reach all the way. It's a long way to reach around, so one, and then two on these. And then two on these, and we're out of signal, so one, and then push that over because this one needs a two minimum to go into it. I guess alternatively, you could also do it this way. You could also do this. And do it on one tick. Technically, that could lead in, and then you don't actually need a second tick. So that would do it too, even faster. It doesn't matter. The lesson is that there's a lot of ways to do your redstone. And then, once you've dug out the underground, you can build this as you please. My advice is to have the water go down one more block. This keeps it from spreading anywhere on the inside. And you can build out your secret vault underneath the ground. Let's go over and get started. So I'm actually going to dig this out with you as if you were to do it in survival. It'll make a little bit more sense and it'll feel a little bit more like you're doing it in survival. So what you'll do is you'll dig down too, and these are going to be where your redstone is going to be. I prefer to have my torch facing the one piston and then having three on each side and then one on the back. So I consider this to be the front, if that makes any sense. So what I want to do is I want to have a piston that pushes a block right here. And you'll notice that this is a problem because it's going to be visible. So I don't actually want to put it right there. I want to put it one block lower. And yes, this will result in a slightly lower interior, but you can't really tell because of the water. And so we're going to have one piston there. piston here, piston here, hang on, you're going to have to come up occasionally at first to get your bearings underneath, it'll be very easy to get confused at first like that, it's pretty straightforward once you get used to it though, and now that we have that completed, now all we have to do is actually dig it out, and so this is, especially if you don't have water breathing, this is what I would recommend doing, is you dig it down quickly at first, and then you have no problem building it out, digging it out to the sides, like this. And now we've got our underground. We can have our vault any size and shape we want. other than watching out for the redstone, which we're about to put in. So what I recommend you do is you put a torch not underneath the pistons and not too high up behind the pistons, but diagonally. And that'll work like the, like the following. So let's put these in first. It'll give us a preview of what it's going to look like. Now underneath the pistons, right here, you're going to put, not here, but underneath these blocks, like this. You see? So it's going to power it diagonally. So we've got our piston here. We're going to power it from below diagonally. So you're going to want to make sure you put these on the bottom block here. And if we did this right, it's about to get very dark. Uh, 
Oh, this is where there's two of them. So you would want to have one here and here. And that does it. Let's see, now it's actually closed on us. I'm going to open this for a maintenance point while we work on it. So what we're going to do is we're going to find out where our lever is up there for clarity. It's right here. And we're going to have some redstone dust behind this that leads over to that lever. So maybe we put it like this. And then you're going to want to dig up one more block. If you did it at the same, the pistons at the same height, it'll look like that. And then this should come up on the surface like the following. And so your lever is going to want to be right here. We'll leave this open for visibility. Obviously you would close this up when you're done. So now, this one opens up. So now all you need to do is run behind these pistons. Run behind these pistons. And one, two, three, four. And if you did it like I did, it'll be 14. If you give it a little bit more space, you're going to have to use a repeater like I initially did in the di dissection demonstration. Because it'll probably add two blocks if you made it bigger in every direction. But this is going to go 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. I think there's 14 if you count up there. And so that works. And it'll work on this side. Then, we're going to want to run it all the way over to here. I'm going to power this one. And I recommend doing it from behind and not on the side because we're going to want to cover this up. So it looks pretty, right? So you can cover this up however you like. Often what I will do is I will put a ring in a square like this. It will cover our pistons up in a square. And this will allow our vault to look pretty. You'd be using cobblestone or some other block of your choosing. Oh, we came a little bit too close here. I wondered why that looked short. And then you can go out one layer further, like so. And there you have it. That's all there is to it. So as you build this out, you'll probably find out that you want it to be deeper than you want. And that's no matter. All you would need to do is, and you can choose whether you want to leave the pillar here. Um, you might be tempted to put some lighting in the water. If you want to make this really secret so it's hidden at night, you want to keep it dark up here on the ceiling so that light doesn't pour through the water and make your fountain light up when it's open. That's up to you. That takes some experimentation. In fact, I could probably show you. If we go set midnight, now it's nighttime. It's open. Now it's closed. Now I broke this block. There we go. So now that it's open, if you were to say, place a glowstone block right here, people are going to see that from a ways away. Your fountain shines like a star. And that's okay if you want to put it right there. But it will even light up if you put it a little bit further down. And you don't want your secret to be given away. It's bleeding through a little bit, but in practice it should be completely blocked out. You see that? 
Oh, this is why it's bleeding right now. I forgot to cover these. Okay. So in practice, it would be completely hidden, and you sneaking in in the middle of the night, and there it is. Everything's lit up. That might not be something you want, and so what you might do is you might remember to dig down. That rule of Minecraft does not apply right here. And you might actually put some lights that are only detectable down here. Now, that could be a number of things. You could use soul lanterns, so let's say we did some here. And that doesn't register up here at all. And then from here, I'm not going to spend too much more time here. But we can go ahead and put in our vault safety deposit boxes. You can put in chests. You can put whatever you want down here. It is your secret room to do with as you wish. That's all I got for today. Thank you for watching and subscribe and share the videos. We're starting on this channel new and doing more of these projects that I've done in the past. Hope this helped and maybe you'll be able to find a neat use for it in the future. Have a good rest of your day. Bye.